Hello, my name is Shanice Montgomery and I serve as the coordinator of student and young alumni programming for the Southern Miss Alumni Association. Today, I will be presenting the Southern Miss story, history, traditions, and other fun facts. Founded by Legislative Act on March 30, 1910, the University of Southern Mississippi was Mississippi's first stated supported teacher training school. Previously, the only standard that teachers had in the state of Mississippi was being able to read an article from a newspaper. Originally known as Mississippi Normal College, the school was built on 120 acres of cutover timber land donated by Messrs. H.A. Camp, A.A. Montague, and Dr. T.E. Ross and funded by bonds issued by the City of Hattiesburg and Forest County in the amount of $250,000. The school's stated purpose was to qualify teachers for the public schools of Mississippi. Mississippi Normal College opened for classes September 18, 1912 and hosted a total of 876 students and it started with the five original buildings that we still have on campus today, which are College Hall, Hattiesburg Hall, Honors House, Ogletree House, Forest County Hall. College House is actually a building for the journalism. Hattiesburg Hall is a resident, residence hall. Honors College is still home to the Honors House and Honors Students. Ogletree House is where the Alumni Association is housed, and Forest County Hall is our campus business office. Thankfully, the name Mississippi Normal College didn't stick around too long. In 1924, um, the school name changed to State Teachers College, but this wouldn't be the last name we would go by either. We later went through another name change, Mississippi Southern College, in 1940, and that lasted through 1962, when finally we landed on the name the University of Southern Mississippi, which is currently still our name today. Black and gold have been Southern Miss colors since the beginning, thanks to Florence Borough Pope. On a trip home, she saw great masses of black-eyed Susans in the pine forest. She decided to encourage her senior class to gather Black Eyed Susans to spell out the name of the class on sheets to be displayed during exercises on class day. She then suggested black and gold as class colors and her suggestion was later adopted. Soon after school opened, a committee was appointed to make recommendations concerning school colors. Florence was on the committee. She, she and the rest of the committee were charged with selecting colors which no other college in Mississippi had adopted. Some students suggested that the colors be maroon and gray. However, Florence suggested that they be black and gold. The two suggestions were submitted to the entire student body and the student body voted to have black and gold as the school colors. Since that day, mascots, names, customs, and the campus have changed, but black and gold have always remained the school's official colors. The years, Southern Miss has experienced an evolution of mascots. The earliest nickname for the university's athletic teams was Tigers, but early teams were also referred to as Normalites. Then in 1924, our team's name was changed to Yellow Jackets. When the school was renamed Mississippi Southern College in 1940, a name change for the athletic team was fitting. In April 1940, the student body voted to name the teams Confederates. The teams were called the Confederates during fall 1940 and spring 1941. In September 1941, Confederates was dropped and the teams were named Southerners. Several years later in 1953, General Nat for General Nathan Bedford Forrest was approved as a Southerners mascot. The first General Nat was Archie Hughes and Nat's horse was named Son of Dixie. In 1971, the mascot was officially changed to the Miners. The Miners' name was found not to have the needed campus appeal, so in 1972, alumni, faculty, students, and staff were asked to submit new names for the athletic teams, and an ad hoc committee appointed by the Alumni Association voted on the submissions. Our present mascot, the Golden Eagles, was chosen as the athletic team's name, and the new mascot was Seymour, an individual in a Golden Eagle costume. Several students usually share the responsibility of portraying Seymour. Seymour's full name is Seymour DeCampus. The name was inspired by the 1984 World's Fair mascot, Seymour DeFair, who is played by former Southern Miss mascot, Jeff Davis, 83. Golden Eagles was chosen over Raiders, Warlords, Timberwolves, and Southerners. 
The first live Golden Eagle mascot, Nugget, was attained in 1980 and in 1986 was replaced by Nugget 2. Nugget 2 died in 1992. However, Seymour continues to entertain fans as Golden Eagles athletic events. An effort to bring a Golden Eagle back to Hattiesburg was initiated by the Southern Miss Alumni Association and was supported by the Student Government Association and USM Foundation. Together, the groups contribute approximately $70,000 in 2013 to fund the construction of a habitat in the Hattiesburg Zoo for the Golden Eagle. The bird named Nugget by the zoo staff was permitted to the zoo after a rigorous application process through the U.S. Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Less than three months after unveiling the Golden Eagle exhibit, the Hattiesburg Zoo welcomed Talon, a second Golden Eagle on loan from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. The exhibit at the Hattiesburg Zoo will continue to provide future Southern Miss alumni, students, and legacies with an opportunity to learn about Golden Eagles. Sometime in the fall of 2005, Vice President for Student Affairs Joe Paul received a mysterious letter requesting that he look underneath a water fountain on the seventh floor of a building honoring someone with seven letters in his last name. He compliantly went to the proper location in the Johnson Science Tower where he found a check designated for a deserving student affected by Hurricane Katrina. Equally mysterious was the appearance in November of a large decorative stone on the lawn of Danforth Chapel. The rock bore an emblem with a leaf surrounded by seven stars and the date 1877, believing it to be a fraternity prank. Union and Programs Director Barbara Ross conducted a little detective work and discovered the existence of an organization called itself the Gold Leaf, a group of individuals, according to one of the Society's letters has taken an oath to commit itself to the betterment of the University of Southern Mississippi. Other individuals and groups on campus also begin to receive correspondence from the Gold Leaf, often accompanied by a check usually for $777.77. Apparently, the significance of the number seven derived from the 227 students and 17 faculty members presented at the school's opening on September 18, 1912. The date, 1877, possibly reflected the origin of the Mississippi Teachers Association, which played such a crucial role in the institution's founding. Another of the society's letters stated, our mission is being accomplished through the making of financial and other gifts to the individuals associated with the university whom we believe bring honor to the university through their work and lives. Membership in the Gold Leaf is and will always remain anonymous so that the focus of the gift will be on the recipient. A separate but apparently companion organization, the Society of 1910, also emerged. As students, past and present, said one of the statements, we are driven by our overriding founding principle to work in all things for the betterment of the University of Southern Mississippi. Ross suggested that it would be fitting for the first name meeting room in the Thad Cochran Center to be the Gold Leaf Room. And on July 7, 2007, 777, she received a check, the first of seven, totaling the $25,000 required for the naming opportunity, designated, of course, for room 227. On the 100th anniversary of Founders Day, March 30th, 2010, the university dedicated a magnificent centennial gateway at the main entrance to the campus. That stately monument to the institution's first 100 years was made possible in the part by the Gold Leaf Society's donation of $17,707.77 toward its construction. Later that year, fall commencement ceremonies included the unveiling of a portrait of the five original campus buildings specially commissioned by the Society of 1910, donated to the university. It remains on display in the Aubrey K. Lucas Administration Building. In addition to the secret societies mentioned above, other secret societies continue to emerge, some of which include the Gilded Eagles and the Black Keys Society. The Little Rock features different sayings in support of Southern Miss Athletics. 
The rock is painted by members of the Student Alumni Association, the Student Chapter of the Alumni Association, in an effort to increase enthusiasm throughout the campus. Phrases like beat Rice for the Golden Eagles games against the rival Rice University and ESPN game day at the Rock are typical phrases painted on the Little Rock to show Southern Miss spirit. Students are encouraged to join the Student Alumni Association every Tuesday at 2 p.m. in the district to paint the Little Rock. In October 1933, members of the senior class voted to construct an artificial lake in a low swampy plot of ground at the front of campus as their gift to the school, then State Teachers College. Dr. Byron E. Green, president of the Forest County Board of Supervisors, assisted the class in its preparations and secured laborers from government relief agencies to dig the lake. Ground was broken on November 20, 1933, and plans called for the lake to be four feet deep sufficient for canoeing, 500 feet long and 135 feet across at the widest part. In appreciation for his assistance on the project, the senior class voted to name the lake in honor of Dr. Byron Green. The lake was officially dedicated as Lake Byron on May 28, 1934. Over the years, the lake became a campus icon. All-American Rose Garden, planted in 1973 by the Hattiesburg Area Rose Society. The Rose Garden is maintained by Southern Miss Physical Plant. In 1975, the garden was approved as an accredited public rose garden by All-American Rose Selection Incorporation. It was featured in the September 1992 issue of American Rose Magazine. Located near the front entrance of the campus, the semicircular garden consists of 32 separate beds, each containing its own unique hybrid of roses. It has become an unofficial campus tradition to have one's photo taken in cap and gown on graduation day. The All-American Rose Garden has produced lush, brightly colored flowers that have enticed countless Southern Miss students to pick the blossoms of their significant others. Adding to the bloom's allure is a widely held concern that the university finds those caught picking the flowers with a hefty price ranging from $50 and $500 per rose. Each year during Golden Eagle Welcome Week, also known as GOO, the freshman class gathers to leave its signature on the university by giving the Eagle Walk, sponsored by the Student Alumni Association, the student chapter of Southern Miss Alumni Association, a fresh coat of gold paint. This time-honored tradition began in 1997 and transforms Eagle Walk Drive into a street of gold. The painting of the Eagle Walk is often one's first memory one's first significant mark, and one's first contribution to the university. An unrivaled parade, Eagle Walk, is a celebration of the spirit of Southern Miss football. On game day at Southern Miss, a cannon is fired and participants march from the Aubrey K. Lucas Administration Building to the Rock. The Pride of Mississippi Marching Band strikes up Southern Miss to the top as thousands cheer their Golden Eagles to victory. Each fall, Southern Miss holds its homecoming weekend. Festivities begin as early as Monday and continue through Sunday evening. All areas of campus get involved. The Southern Miss Alumni Annual Golf Tournament, Alumni Hall of Fame Banquet, Homecoming Parade, the Association's Annual Award Ceremony and Business Meeting. Concerts, reunions, tailgating, and a pep rally are just some of the events happening around the Saturday football game is an opportunity for alumni, students, and friends, both new and old, together before and after a Southern Miss athletic event. Located in front of the Ogletree Alumni House, the campus historical district has acted as a gathering place for Southern Miss students and alumni since the founding of the university. During football season, the district becomes a hotbed of activities as students, alumni, and friends of Southern Miss gather to tailgate before each home game. Tents are set up, and by the game day, the district transforms into a seat of Southern Miss fans. The fifth quarter concert. Immediately following each home football game, the Pride of Mississippi Marching Band performs a mini concert featuring the university's alma mater while fans congregate on the field to briefly visit with players and socialize with one another. The official ring is one of the most important traditions at Southern Miss. 
Adorned with images from both the Hattiesburg and Gulf Park campuses, it is not only a piece of jewelry, but a piece of history. The ring is treated much like a diploma and is awarded each year at the official ring ceremony, which is hosted by the Southern Miss Alumni Association. Students who receive their rings wear them with the signet style top of the ring facing them. Once they graduate, they turn the rings and wear them with the dome facing away, signifying that they are no longer students, but alumni. Students who participate in the ring ceremony are also able to be a part of our new official ring tradition, which is the blessing of the rings. This takes place by our live mascots, Nugget and Talon, and they're able to bless the rings the night before the ring ceremony, which is really cool and a really special moment. Holiday cheer overflows during the annual Lighting of the Way holiday celebration. Sponsored by the Student Government Association and the Southern Miss Alumni Association at the University of Southern Mississippi's Hattiesburg campus, this event is the university's youngest tradition. The campus celebration includes holiday music, hot chocolate, and photos with Southern Miss mascot Seymour and Santa Claus. The university's 30-foot Christmas tree, which features more than 17,000 lights, sits on the front lawn of the Aubrey K. Lucas Administration Building. In addition, approximately 30 small lanterns adorn the front entrance to the campus, sponsored by student organizations and other Southern Miss departments. Each year, groups that sponsor a lantern also raise money to benefit a local nonprofit organization or agency. 30th, 1910 is the institution's official birthday and in 1955, the Alumni Association designated March 30th as Mississippi Southern College Day. The day was to be observed wherever former students resided, and its purpose was to build up a little more custom and tradition concerning the college. The day since renamed Founders Day has been observed in some fashion ever since, and now boasts a ceremony including the Student Government Association inauguration and formally awards day. The Student Alumni Association is one of the largest student organizations on campus and has many fun activities that draw the interest of the entire student body. Established more than 25 years ago and formerly known as the Legacy, the Student Alumni Association is the campus leader in promoting spirit and enthusiasm at Southern Miss. The group's focus is centered on the protection of the traditions and history of Southern Miss. A few of their signature events include painting the Eagle Walk, Painting the Little Rock, the annual t-shirt swap, and Founders Week. We have so many traditions that make Southern Miss special. We actually have over 70 traditions, and you can learn about all of those on our app, SAA Hub. You can also access the Student Alumni Association membership application, access to the Draw the University's Official History and Traditions Handbook, you can also create a digital scrapbook of your favorite Southern Miss memories. And did I mention that you can get rewarded for completing traditions on campus? Yes, so make sure you download the SAA Hub. We do pop-up events throughout the semester and just keep you in up to date with all events um, centered around SAA. Thank you again for your time. And if you're ever near our office on campus, stop by and say hi. Southern Miss, to the top.